what inspires me is talking, is conversating, is literally doing stuff like this where we communicate from artist to artist and we just talk about shit that we have problems with and the best way is when we come up with a solution. I think that in itself has a spark where later on you think, we can actually do something about that or that makes me think of something that I've always wanted to do. And I feel like once you do that, you get something and then if you accomplish it, then everyone is so happy and you just wanna keep doing it. And so that method in itself is what gets you going. That's what gets me going. Acceptance. I, I was honestly thinking about that when I first got the question. That question stuck out to me the most because when we deal with shit, and when we try to make shit, the first thing we always get is criticism. Whether it's something you want to make on your own, or something new, you always get told, oh, this looks like this. So you're copying, it's unoriginal. When half the shit that you see in the movies is from something, because you have influence. So then there's that criticism and you end up going into your own spiral. And then there's things where you try to be yourself and no one likes that acceptance. Uh, nothing different in terms of when I'm being an actor. You learn a script, you understand it, you try to put as much as yourself without putting everything in it. But when it comes to the other side, when it's behind the camera, uh, understand that you have to be yourself. Find the things that you find funny, find the things that make you, and that's, you, that's your own content, that's your own world. Yes, sure, you try to put all the things that you like in it, but sometimes it may not work and it may not be your own style. So that's something that I'm still working on from behind the camera, but since I'm, uh, as an actor, I've been more comfortable with being myself and loving that part. <laughs> it's so funny that you can look like this, you can come from a certain part, and you should not be looked a certain way. Is that you should not be this, the Mexican that talks like this and does like that. Is that you have your own mind, you're just as creative, you can watch the same thing, you may have something different, and it's overall an artist. It's kind of this, uh, to me I find it the same question as the first one, where as long as we're doing this, as long as we are making a movie, making a short film, making a skit, even fucking role playing where we're high, getting drunk, I think shit like that sparks something. Um, after I graduated from my second year in college, um, I came back home and I noticed that I missed everything that I did and I just ended up working at a shitty job after shitty job after shitty job in a span of three months and that brought me to a space where I hated everything, I hate everything about myself and I wanted to go back and redo stuff and try to figure out myself because I actually finished without understanding who I was and that fucked me up to the max and when I came back I found out okay this is, I noticed that I have these certain attributes that I'm not accepting. And when I came back and I finished school and I am back home again, I'm at a solid spot and now I'm just trying to figure out how, I, how can I keep that without going back.